anticipation but now it is for real match day one in the Europa League who will get off to a positive start with all three points stay tuned we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV and good evening to you from this beautifully appointed stadium the home of Arsenal here in North London I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson and what we have on the menu for you is match day one action in the UEFA Europa League. It's Arsenal, and they take on Slavia Prague. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. starters for Arsenal well it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today will they stay high and wide will they come in field and support the center forward and how deep will they come out of possession they're going to be key to this formation Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. It is the opening act. Europa League group stage, match day one, underway. Also get the advantage from the referee. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Nikolai Stanchiu. Tomasz Hornish. Is it going to be? And danger still. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, they've started the game really brightly here, and they've looked dangerous. But that was a top-class save from the keeper. Brilliant from him. Well, sensible refereeing, you might say. Now he goes back and hands out the yellow card, Stuart. Yeah, that's very good. He let the play continue and then came back for the earlier challenge. And the flag raised. Offside it is. And intercepts again. And that puts him in position. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. And I must say, match day one in the Europa League always gets the blood flowing. As we analyse the group, Stuart, what might we see in this particular section, do you think? Well, you'd expect Arsenal to control this group. They have excellent players, 1-11. to 11. They've got a good manager and a big squad. But I don't think they're going to have it all their own way. Really good challenge. Sevian Plavšić, Torle, promising possession this, it might be on for them, played into the centre, attending to his defensive chores, can he convert, reflex action par excellence from Bert Leno.
Playing it in. It hasn't come to very much. And giving it away. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Well, it is without question a very special day. This is his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, he'll certainly add some quality into that midfield area because he's a really good passer of the ball, which will hopefully give the front players the service their movement deserves. Let's just hope he settles in quickly. Will he play it in? Tomasz Hollisch. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. That is how to apply the pressure. Tabas. And a useful cross. And an effective clearance. Extremely sloppy in possession. Sergian Plavšić. Couldn't keep it. Nicola Pepe. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, switching play and needed to be spot on, but it wasn't. They've got it now, what can they do? And Bellingham. Maitland-Niles. Can they get in behind them? Possession changes hands, the interception there. Petrushevchik. Well, they get the ball once more. Lokonga and Kessia and on to Bellingham well he's thwarted him almost effortlessly this might be ideal for the counter how could he take them on and beat them well options at the back post here well I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper but I was wrong Nuno Tavares William Saliba White Well as you can see Arsenal have had most of the ball but with the talent they have on show here the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment they need to play with more urgency to win this one It's time to play it over useful cross towards the near post and the danger clear Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Lokonga. Bellingham. White. William Saliba. Showing a lot of guile there. Pepe. Cuts it back. Just made sure nothing came of that. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And he's fired over the corner. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition.
Maitland Niles. Tavash. And space to cross it. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Over the touchline for a throw in. Well, let's see about the cross. It comes to absolutely nothing. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. And the second half begins in this Europa League group stage match day one contest. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. And just wide with the header. William Saliba and Bellingham Ben White and it's with Maitland Niles Tavash excellent challenge Arsenal's free kick here well the referee might have been tempted to reach for his pocket but wasn't well it's a foul but not a bad one a warning is just about the right decision Well, there's been quite a lot of talk on the Everton front in recent days and they have the new signing finally confirmed, Stuart. Well, the fee is reported to be around about £60 million, which is a lot of money, but I think he's worth it. He's going to be under huge pressure, of course, but I'm sure he'll be able to cope with it. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try to take the lead. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Delivering it, able to deal with the threat. Excellent defending. Bar. And room now out on the wing. Still passing it around with authority. Will it happen for them? And a very good challenge. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back heel this is to set up the goal. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal facing Crystal Palace. Maitland-Niles. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. William Saliba White Maitland Niles Nicola Pepe 
Lokonga. Nketia. Maitland Niles. Ben White. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. It might be on for them. And beyond the last defender, offside. And time for the change now. Number 15, Andre Maitland Niles, to be replaced by number 29, Reese Nelson. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Albert Sambi Lokonga. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. And foul it is then. not looking confident in possession well we have 20 minutes left in this game the Gunners have lost the ball and they'll get ready for the throw in The cross is on. Dangerous looking attack. Polish. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, these Arsenal fans can sense an equaliser here. Can the players respond and get it? And possession given away. Jakub Romada. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Bellingham. Nelson. And a tidy challenge. And pull back. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. And Bellingham. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Options in the middle. And an effective clearance. Petr Shevchik. Dorley. Good looking ball. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. Nuno Tavares. William Saliba. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long.
Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. Can't miss, surely. Great defending. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. And there's the delivery. Save, but still a chance. Well, the keeper very decisive. On and on he goes. Major to the box. A goal! Sheer excitement! Level again here! Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. And there is the final whistle, an evenly contested game, and both teams will have to be content with a point here on match day one, Stuart. Well, a draw was just about the right result, but the focus has to be on the next game now. Both sides will be looking for their first win, otherwise they could be playing catch-up. Can he convert? Reflex action par excellence from Van Leno. Just made sure nothing came of that. Oh, he's been denied, and they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. And just wide with the header. And Arsenal have won the corner as they try. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent them. Later to the box. Level again here.
Can I ask you a couple of questions? Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you.